Two severely neglected horses will not go back to their owner after a plea agreement in Mills County, Iowa. Now, we do have some video of how the animals looked when they were seized, and I do want to warn you, it could be disturbing for some of you to see. Mike McKnight talked to the owner. This is a Fact Finders investigation. Rescuers hope Champion can beat the odds for survival after hoof neglect caused a bone deformity. It's like having a nail driven in the bottom of your foot and just leaving it there, and then you have to walk on it. When rescued a few weeks ago, the horse's hooves so long that a farrier had to use a trim saw. Champion and a pony named Herbie seized by a deputy from a Mills County acreage owned by this woman who asked not to be identified. I did not get the hooves trimmed the way they should have been trimmed. I was trying to do something that I'm not even trained for. She denies the horses lived in poor conditions. I fed them, I watered them. But rescuers submitted photos that told a different story to a judge. The conditions the horses were living in was absolutely horrible. So in a plea agreement, the woman surrendered the two horses to Hooves and Paws Rescue and in return pleads guilty to simple misdemeanors and pays a fine. Though rescuers disagree with the horse's owner about the conditions they had been living in, they are satisfied with the plea agreement. The rescue hopes to eventually find new homes for the horses. The many will be adoptable once we get him rehabbed, but that champion has a long road to recovery. Guilty of animal neglect, the former owner says she reluctantly surrendered her horses. It's like somebody taking away your children. I mean, even bad parents get to have a chance to get their children back. But a chance for survival rescuers say. He's very skittish. Depends on if the horses can both heal and find new homes. Near Glenwood, Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. Hooves and Paws rescuers can't say when either horse will be healthy enough for adoption, but the organization is paying for vet care and medicine. That all adds up. So if you want to help, you're urged to contact 712-355-3721. You can also go to a website for Hooves and Paws Rescue of the Heartland.